Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Taryn, and if you are a follower of the channel, you know that I'm a bit of an Apple fanboy, if you want to call it that. I, I, I have a ton of Apple product tech reviews on the channel, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at an Android phone that was sent to me from today's video sponsor, Heka, but more on them later in the video. So this phone is called the OnePlus Nord CE2. I've been somewhat familiar with the OnePlus phones of the past decade or so. They are known for making great budget phones. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see if that still holds up to the case today. Open that bad boy up right here. I'm kind of excited to be honest with you guys because I've I haven't touched Android now for almost two years, so it's gonna be very, very cool to get back into the game of Android and just to see what it's all about on the budget side of things. And if you guys are wondering, I am daily driving a iPhone 13 Pro. Um, awesome phone, very, very expensive phone. Um, so I'm curious to see actually how this budget Android, this OnePlus phone, holds up to the iPhone here. Really nice box design. I like that Nord gradient there. That's pretty cool. And then we got, it uh, says right there, OnePlus Nord CE2. Pull off the top layer. And looks like we're gonna get our packaging. So let's take a look here and see. Oh, okay, that's a welcome surprise. So this actually comes with a case for the phone, it looks like. You don't see that every day. That's pretty cool if you ask me. And then let's open this up. We got our SIM card tray remover right there. Oh, it's a little, it's a little card saying thank you. This is the team over at OnePlus. Congratulations on becoming an owner of the new OnePlus Nord CE2. And this is the grand reveal. open this wow okay <laughs> wow this color looks wow that looks great look at that it's a bright bright blue wow it it almost it is like a sky blue this looks fantastic and then when you refract it in the light it creates that bit of a rainbow shimmer. I'm wondering if I can get that in the in this video for you guys to see. It's a really nice rainbow shimmering uh, refraction there. I think that's the right way to say that. This is a beautiful color. Um, the phone does feel like it's made of plastic. Um, this is a plastic build for sure. This isn't made of glass like an iPhone. But when you hold these two side by side, I don't know, man, the blue looks pretty cool to me. Um, but again, iPhones made of like glass and aluminum. This is all plastic, but not bad, not bad. This is an expensive phone. This OnePlus I think comes in at 300 and, let me double check. It's $369 US right now. So iPhones go for well over $1,000. Pretty impressed with the design of this. It looks like there's a screen protector on it as well, um, which I think that's pretty nice. It actually came with one. If I just pull on that. So it does come with the screen protector. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not a fan of, you know, I, I generally take care of my smartphone glass. So I'm just gonna take that off. And before we open up the phone, let's see what else is inside the box. I was so distracted by that color. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Comes with a fat, look at the size of that thing. This is the charging brick that it comes with right here. It's a 65 watt, 65 watt charger. Um, says it right there. That's pretty crazy. So, um, this OnePlus phone is capable of incredibly fast charging. So I believe you can actually charge this phone from zero to a hundred percent in about 32 minutes. Fact check me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm like 99% sure that's the case, which is very impressive. That's, wow, that's insane. There you go, it's just gonna boot up there. And while we're waiting for the phone to turn on, I wanna talk more about today's video sponsor, 
Hacka. Hacka is an online global marketplace where you can buy a variety of different tech ranging from smartphones, computers, cameras, even home appliances, fitness equipment, and it's from a variety of brands around the world. They actually powered and sponsored today's video by sending over an Android phone for me to try here with you guys who generally only see Apple related products from us. So um, this is actually very cool of them to do that, to give me the opportunity to showcase an Android phone to you guys in this video. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check out their platform, there will be a link in the top of the description down below. And you can use my discount code Terran10 to get $10 off any orders over $29.99. Anyways, thank you so much, Hekka, for sponsoring today's video. Right now, I'm setting up the fingerprint scanner, which is actually built into the screen. I've actually never used this before. I've been so used to Face ID on the iPhone. So this would be kind of fun to test out. So it says to press the sensor and lift, wait for the vibration. I've heard mixed reviews about the in-screen fingerprint readers from a variety of Android phones. So. I'm curious to see if this is actually gonna work out to be pretty quick and fast and convenient. Oh, it even has face ID. Oh, what the? Okay, so there was a face ID set up and I was just trying to show you what it looked like and it just, I guess took a snapshot of my face and that was face ID. Probably isn't anything like Apple's secure face ID. I'm sure it's not as good but um, cool to see nonetheless. And there we have it. We are inside the OnePlus Nord CE2 and just initial impressions looking at this. Let's crank the brightness on this display. See how beautiful it is. Wow, that looks good. That looks really good. I mean, so when I'm looking at both of these displays, I mean, the iPhone does look richer, which I'm not surprised by, like it does have a bit more of a, I don't know how to explain it. It just has that oomph to the display. But this display, this is a 1080p display um, and it looks pretty good. Like I, you know, for $369, I have no complaints by how nice this display looks. This looks great, actually. There's, wow. $369 and this is also a 90 Hertz panel as well from my understanding. It's not as smooth as an iPhone, but again, the iPhone's rocking an A15 Bionic chip in here. I think this is rocking some proprietary, what is the name of it again? It's um... So the actual name of this chip is called the MediaTek Dimensity 900. You know, for whatever that's worth, um, it's all proprietary tech looks like in here and it works pretty good. I mean, it, the animations are pretty smooth. It's a 90 Hertz panel. I don't have a lot of complaints here. I can see a little bit of lag here and there, but overall for $369, the color is great. The screen looks bright and vivid. It's 90 Hertz. Like I said, it's hard to complain about something like this when you have phones like this, the iPhone, that cost, I think I paid like almost $1,500 or $1,700 for this iPhone. And I haven't even reviewed it yet on the channel. Review is on the way. I wanna test out more of the typing experience. So if I just go here and type in Google, Google. Okay, the typing is not bad. It, The feedback on the keyboard is a little weird. It, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the feedback of the keyboard. There's like a vibration motor behind there and it, uh, it's not bad. The keyboard's good. I mean, again, you'll get used to it. Decent keyboard for sure. And let's test out the speakers. Now, that I'm really curious about. So let's go on YouTube actually. It doesn't sound like there's stereo speakers. Yeah, I was right. There's no stereo speakers. 
there's actually only that one cutout um, right there for the speaker, so it's mono. I haven't heard a mono speaker on a phone in a very long time. Um, so, I mean, it's not bad. It still gets... It still gets loud. It, it still gets loud, but when you when you go to my iPhone here, oh yeah, it's a lot richer on the iPhone. But is it like thirteen hundred dollars richer? Probably not. Like uh, not many. I mean, it's fine. Like not many people use their speakers on their phones, anyways. 99% of us are gonna use headphones, so, uh, but speakers, passable, not bad at all. One, two, three. Okay, not bad. That's not bad, I mean, yeah, that works. I could totally get used to that. I mean, there is a bit of a delay. It works, there's a bit of a delay. It's like a slight one second delay. Versus if I go to my iPhone here, it's, yeah, instant, instant. But again, $1,700 phone, at least in Canada or out of front, that's how, I think how much I paid. And then this is $369, so. Another thing I noticed now actually is the chin. There's a little chin on the bottom here of the of the OnePlus phone. You know, it would have been a good idea if they just made it completely perfect rounded corners. Um, it's not a budget phone thing. Like I know the iPhone has the perfect corners around, but even really cheap Android phones I've seen have perfectly rounded corners. So I'm not sure why they felt the need to do the little hump here. In terms of cameras, I wanted to mention that quickly. There's three cameras on the back of this hump. You might have not noticed the third one is that little one right there. That's a macro lens for close-up shots. You have her standard 64 megapixel main camera and then an eight megapixel ultra wide camera. So I'm gonna go take some quick pictures off on my balcony and we're gonna see, does this hold up to the iPhone at 360 bucks or 369? Okay, so here are all the pictures I took. I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments down below which one you thought looked better between the iPhone and the OnePlus budget phone that we have here. I would say generally, I think the iPhone looked better and that's no surprise. But again, at $369, I thought it wasn't bad, but I did feel that the front facing camera on this phone, it made me look like a, like a cartoon character. Whereas the iPhone, it looked a bit more realistic in my opinion. Some other notable things about this phone is that it does support 5G. It comes with eight gigabytes of RAM and it does have 128 gigs of storage. So that's all actually pretty good specs for a phone of this price. You get your triple cameras, plus the camera on the front. Um, you get a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. You get 65 watt fast charging. You get a 90 Hertz display. It's, you might hear the siren going off. This is this is why I don't like living downtown sometimes, trying to film these videos. I think for the most part, the, the, the heart of the smartphone experience, so browsing the internet, texting your friends, watching videos, you can do all that on this phone and I don't think a lot of you will be disappointed. And this blue, I love that blue. Best looking smartphone I've seen um, in a while, I just, I love it, it just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about that blue. It just pops, it pops. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're brand new to my channel, and make sure to check out Hekka. Their link will be in the top of the description down below. Use Terran10 to get $10 off your order. And anyways, thank you again. Thank you guys, I can't speak. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.